So right now I'm going to be doing the um, the Hydro Boost, the 2011 Hydro Boost. Kind of showing you just the brake pedal. So I can go pretty, pretty deep in there. So that's what they always complain about. It's just kind of like spongy-ish. So also too, we're going to be taking out these bolts and I, they are supposedly 15. Anything different, I'll let you know. That one right there or somewhere in there. Anyways, there's four of them. So we're going to do that, get her out. So at the moment we're going to get the YC Fab um, cover off, took off those bolts and if I remember right it's like a 15 and something else but um, you need a wrench on the other side because it just spins. Get that off and then we'll start taking off the other stuff and the hydro or the power steering lines. So to get the cover off and those bolts or whatever, so I got a 15 on the front right there and then a, a 13 millimeter on the back just to hold that bolt. So that's what I was like, wait a minute, I thought it was 15. So anyways, unscrew those, that, and then move that away. Take off these supposedly 15 millimeter. Let's check it out. So this is a 15. I can't believe I even had this, but. See, it's not a 15. <laughs> I don't know why. As soon as I can see me, it's like it's a 18. The 17 is just barely too small. So anyways, get those off and uh, get this hose off. I actually have all the, I'm gonna do the power steering um, lines when I do the power steering. And I'm just kind of waiting just on some extra money because I'm like, I want to get the daily driven ones. So it's like better hose. But the only thing it doesn't come with, it comes with all the high pressure ones, but not the low pressure. So I got both low pressures. Um, and so I got that, so I'm gonna replace this when I do that, but not today. I'm just gonna change out the Hydro Boost. So I'm gonna take off that one, that one, and this one, that's it. So yeah, it is a 18 millimeter on those flares and then popping out, but yeah, you will leak some a little bit if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, just taking it off. Um, also, there's an O-ring you need to watch out because I just saw, I was like, so I'll just take it out really slowly and watch it so you don't lose it or do anything to it, but. It's just an 18 millimeter wrench you can just use on that. Okay, so I stand corrected. So that one's 18, that one's 17, and it's a pain in the butt. This one's a lot easier to get out. For some reason, it's like, didn't seem like it was like tight in that tight or something. And this one was like a pain because it's just because that thing's in the way and just using a regular wrench. You gotta, just gotta kind of be careful because it's like a more softer aluminum or something. So it kind of wants to like round the head off. So just be careful. But yeah, that one's a 17, that's an 18. So now to go inside and do it. So it's got my drill on there. and I've gotten three out of the four bolts. So one's there, one up there, one behind this brace, and then one up to the top right of the screens. I'm getting off soon. But here's the problem everyone has. They say it's right. You see, I don't know if I can get that up there, but there's a little clip you get. Sorry, my son's in here making tons of noise, but he's right. It's right there. You gotta kind of. So I got like a little a pick, a screwdriver, and a little tiny flathead just to kind of get that off. Because see, I don't know which one I'm gonna need or which one's gonna work work the best. I've done on my old Yukon, but we'll see what works best. So I got those other ones out. I got the switch thing off, but mine has a freaking nut on it or a bolt on it. I was like, what the hell? 10 millimeter. So basically this is how it sits in the truck. So if you're looking at it, it sits like that. Um, so all you gotta do is basically, so it sits like that. And all I did was, hold on. So all I did was basically kind of pry it up. Basically pried it up and then push, while I'm prying it up, I'm pulling, pushing it up. And then it finally just won't. Be careful, because it kind of went behind my fuse box thing right there. I had to take that out and get it out, so. Yeah, so if you, for this, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter, a 10 millimeter if you have this bolt on the thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it, and then 
is what I use to get it out. I should have used my other one, maybe my uh, ratchet, but I didn't. Whatever. So long, deep or deep socket, a swivel, to a small, a medium, small extension, and a long extension, and that will get them out. out. So now, time to pull her out. This thing, every time I press on the brick, it got, kept gushing. I don't know why I didn't put the hose back on. But now I have a huge old mess down there. But uh, let's unhook her and get the one, new one in. So here's the new one. And here's the drill that we're going to be using. Because as you can tell, that one pretty much goes through. This one does not. We're definitely gonna have to drill that out because like I said it goes in. This one does. And that's the one thing you'll have an issue with. So I'm gonna get her out, drill her, and then we'll start hooking her back up. Okay, got her in. I think she had a little bit of little bit of fluid in there because it was a little wet. But uh there she is, she's all in. I didn't put the I just put the hoses on just a little bit so it wouldn't leak anymore. Now I'm gonna go inside, put the bolts back in, and uh, I think we should be good. So, everything went smooth, I drilled her out. You, you kinda gotta be like patient with drilling out that bit because it would just grab it and spin it. If I didn't have, I wish I had like a, a, a vise or something to hold it, but I didn't, so I just had to like hold my foot on it. And yeah, make sure you be careful with the little, anything that's sensitive to the pressure, but yeah. So I'm just glad she's in. Clean this huge mess. I did some uh, super clean degreaser on that. Maybe I'll go wash it off a little bit and see if it comes off. So let's get her bolts back in and go. Okay, so we got done bleeding her out and it's it's a mess. It's all like all over. But like I said, I'm not gonna freaking worry about it because it's gonna be a messy here in a little while once I do the pump. So we got her bled a little bit. So she's still kind of airing out so I'm gonna leave the lid off for a bit but got her all tightened up hoses back on everything's on she's not leaking from anything and I will probably drive for the next day or two and I'll show you tell you how well much better because I drove it for a minute just drove it down the street right here and it seems like it the braking is like the same maybe a little better but it's the turning that I noticed the most like it just seems like it's a little like less effortly less effort so but yeah like i said get that and then if you're gonna do this get like a, some pig mats or a little thing because it, it makes it messy 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 hey at least my uh frame's coated now but yeah i'll let you know here in a little bit in the next uh clip okay everyone so i'm out driving right now and I take back what I said. Um, the braking is now big difference, big big difference. I wouldn't say like you're like gonna stop like on a dime per se, but it's a lot better. And I'm just like, wow! I really I wasn't expecting much from it. Turning has helped a little bit. Like I said, it's not like I can just turn with a pinky well I mean like it is I don't know I didn't make a big difference where I was like I'm normal it's like it's still the same kind of a little bit better I guess I don't know I'm just kind of rambling but braking way way different after I bled everything it's way better so I definitely recommend it like I said it only took like an hour you didn't you really use that much tools and just make sure you put some cardboard down or like some sort of kitty litter or something but other than that it's it's not that bad of a job just a couple wrenches extensions and sockets and stuff and you're you're pretty much set but uh i'll definitely put that link below uh to grab you um hydro boost and the, the drill bit and stuff but i definitely recommend it so go get you one